what's up everybody, my name is Tofan at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're back uh, at where we left the, uh, well, left off with the USS Constitution quest. Because I kind of hopped on a verti bird and went back south. So we can go back to um, Cabot House. And in Cabot House we need to bring back that mysterious serum that we found in the last episode at the Parsons Insane Asylum. When we do that we can actually continue on with that quest. But I want to do some exploring in Boston itself as well. Because I want to get one particular upgrade that might make Louise a little bit smarter than she was before. But before that, we can actually go into Cabot House. The sentry bot is going to greet us. Hello, buddy. How are you? Hi. I'm not going to talk to him. So let's just go in. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother. Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? So there we go. We get a, a little glimpse in the rest of the Cabot House family. So, let's talk to Edward instead. Okay, they're gonna keep discussing that, but uh, yeah, we found it in some, well, on some raiders near Parsons. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm, I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? I love how this, uh, this game kind of deals with dialogue a little bit different. I'm not a fan of the limited options you always get. I do like the uh, the lines of dialogue you get in full from other Fallout games. But I do love that time continues on. Because as you can hear, they're still discussing the, the disappearance of Imogene in the off. back. What? Uh, yeah, I kind of nodded off, but uh, let's give him the serum. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Thank you, Edward. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. So there we go. Emma Jean takes a lover is the next part of the quest. So they're still discussing this. I'm going to assume that we're here to hell. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Oh, they're all the way at the top. As devoted as dear Edward. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to suppose Wilhelmina is Jack's mother. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. Indeed. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. I'm not exactly sure how far away that is, but sounds pretty easy. Sounds like a piece of cake. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. So there we go, Good Neighbor. A good, uh, well, a good opportunity to visit that uh, little town as well. The Looney Sister. What the hell is that out dialogue option? I'm off to find the Looney Sister then. Okay, no response to that. Um, otherwise, is there... I, would think that there might be a unique item in Cabot House. I'm gonna just look around a little bit. There is a Zeta gun on the uh, on the counter here, which is weird because I would I, I could swear that those things are usually called gamma guns. So that's a different letter of the alphabet. There's still a lot of closed off doors. I'm gonna assume that there might be an item behind one of these doors. Oh wait, this one's openable. 
Uh, let me get a nice camera, but everything over here is of course stealing. Ah, it's just the uh, entryway, yeah. Every bit of room over here is apparently still locked. I love the fact, however, that this place is just filled with wine and whiskey. Uh, just gives you a nice indication of how uh, how this family actually operates. Because there's more to this family than meets the eye. I'm not going to spoil too much just yet, just in case you haven't played this quest yet. But there's uh, definitely more to this place than meets the eye. And again, the kitchen full of wine, whiskey and the like. And bloody hell, Edward even has a fat man in his, uh, in his room in the basement. And there's another mini nuke over there. That is... That's a nice touch. He's definitely a, a very aggressive military ghoul. So, next up is... Okay, that sentry bolt always makes a hell of a lot of noise. But, good neighbor, where we need to find Imogene. That's not that far off from over here. But, of course, we're back in Boston, so that means quite dangerous territory. Not as dangerous as the north that we've been to just in the previous episode. Because, of course, that claws are very, very, very dangerous. But I think there might be a bunch of ghouls uh, around here somewhere. Um, although I do remember clearing out this area quite well. We got the Boston Bugle building. We're not going to be visiting that just yet. But there we go. Gunners. Gunners at the Mass Fusion building. Uh, by the way, the building that the... Uh, um, the, the ship actually rammed was the Baxter building, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not exactly the same. So there's gunners over there and super mutants in front of me. I did just recently save, so I might as well try and check my inventory to see if I have fragmentation grenades equipped. I think I do. Uh, so that means I should probably just grab the 50 cal. And headshot this guy. So they haven't noticed me just yet. Oh, he just went in. Okay. that That's not... How the hell did that work? He just went in and then when I pop, popped into danger... Oh, wait a second. I think I can toss a grenade over there. And then I can just blast with the righteous authority. And, uh, oh god, that car... I was going to say that car is going to explode, but... Yeah. And then that guy is almost dead because I... There we go. There we go. I should probably eat up just a little bit. Eat up some uh, soft shell Mylurk. And guns are always interesting because they have a bit of ammo. And ammo is something I definitely need. So let's grab the laser pistol, giving me a little bit of ammo in the process. And then where's the guy that I... Is this his head? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> and there we go. More laser pistols. I can drop those in a second, but we're not here for the mass fusion building just yet. So let's just move on. I do need to be careful because gunners occasionally also leave mines. Is that guy... There's a... A dead raider here just... Posed. That's weird. Does he have... Or she have... A note on her corpse? No. Oh. Uh, well, something happened here, but I'm not going to find that. We're on a mission, damn it, and we're going to damn well do it. Because over there, we have Good Neighbor. There might be just a few ghouls around the corner, but I'm going to try and sneak boss. Or even Super Mutants. Never mind Super Mutants, but... But, 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 but. There we go. There we go. Good Neighbor. So, uh, I don't think Bob ever made it to good neighbor so uh this is the first time on this channel we're actually gonna visit good neighbor and there we go we level up from going into good neighbor neighbor and getting an idiot savant prompt but every time you enter good neighbor this hey, guy yeah there. first time in good neighbor you can't go walking around without insurance we meet finn and finn is a bit of an asshole unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. I mean, you can try. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? 
She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. And stop! Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. I love oh, Hancock. Hancock is the best. Your face. Yeah, let's talk about the, his face. The guy that just stabbed the man in bright daylight. I'm just gonna talk about the, the ugliness of his face. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Thanks, Hancock. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. I think the guy with the knife is in charge, but that's that's all okay. So let's just grab whatever is on his corpse here. Ah, oh, 306, uh, 308 rounds. That's always nice. Thank you for that, Finn. Um, we even have a, a power armor station in here, which is really, really nice. And of course, of course, if you didn't notice yet, this is Deacon again. Hi, Deacon. Just keeping an eye on me. So, we needed to go into the third rail, which of course is, uh, it's a, it's a sort of bar that is located in a, in a subway station, which is of course fitting the name, the third rail. And over there we have Hancock just looking at me, because he's keeping an eye on me as well. Um, and over there of course we have the memory den, which is going to come into play later on in the main story. But, let's go into the third rail first. So... Entering the third rail, there's a ghoul in a, tu in a tuxedo. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Hello, Ham. Go on in. Thanks, I will. I'm still in full power armor, but apparently nobody actually cares. So let's just go down. And we can hear the performer. Pull up a chair. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Good stranger. Cause we're all a little strange in here. I love this place. Louise is so happy she's dancing on the music. But okay, yeah, I, I do love this place, just because of the very custom music, musical number. I don't know if that's copyrighted, by the way. I might lose this video just because of that. But uh, we needed to ask around to see if we could find Emma Jean. So let's start where everybody should start, with the bartender. Oh, beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. So Whitechapel Charlie. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia. Gal wants a word. And that stops the music, sadly. But I love how just that just completely abruptly stops the music. Even the jukebox knows it needs to stop. Hello, Magnolia. Excuse me, miss. Why? Hello. Did you like the song? Yeah, I did like the song. The song was lovely. I loved the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Is that... That sounds like Tess from The Last of Us. I'm not exactly sure. I should probably check that. Maybe I'll put that on the video here. But uh, what, what, what do you think? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Well, we're looking for Emma Jean Cabot. I could try and flirt, but that's not going to... I mean... I, I, she can't even see my face. I'm wondering how she even saw my muscles, because I'm wearing power armor. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? 
Um, I'm a friend of the family and she's missing. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Excuse me? Okay, I need to know where she is. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Wait, he's the ghoul at the entrance, right? Or did he come down already? Ham? Ham? a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jane. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jane was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Okay, thank you, Magnolia. And can, is she going to start the music again? I don't think she will. She's going to grab a drink. But this place is deadly silent now, which is uh, a whole other kind of strange. But uh, let's oh, go back out. Hey, everyone. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their SIDS! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock! I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass! <laughs> hey! We all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us. us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good, good neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! Hancock knows what Yay! That was a great speech, Hancock. I'm gonna talk to him. And I love how this place actually has an assault drone running stuff. <laughs> that is just so creepy. So let's go in. So, the old state house. Hi, Hancock. Mayor Hancock. What can I do for you? My house is your house. My town is your town. Well, the question is, what can I do for you? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Uncomfortable post-coitus quiet okay sure scout out pikmin gallery on it cool be thorough okay i'm not paying for a look-see find out what's really going on there well i know what's really going on there and it's freaking creepy but uh i'll i'll get i'll get you that that reconnaissance anytime so back outside we also shouldn't forget that we're uh 
playing on survival, so I'm gonna have to take a nap to save. But in the meantime, we have this corpse. And it's Sammy. So Sammy is clearly a synth, because there's a synth component on his corpse. So there we go, we can grab that and we might be able to use that later on. But Hotel Rexford. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? Uh, n no, no, D thanks. Not interested, Not man. looking to buy right now. Oh, uh, that's cool. Maybe next time. Maybe, yeah. So, bye, Fred. I'm gonna talk to the, uh, the owner of this lovely Before establishment. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms. One room specifically. Payment due up front. Okay, let's rent the room. All right. Here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. On the top floor of this entire building. This is a fancy hotel, by the way. So let's go on the staircase. When you come to the hallway. Okay, this is the hallway and then the final room on the right. So this is supposed to be my room. Oh, look at that. Fancy, I even have space to leave my power armor behind. So let's take a little nap. There we go, slept for 12 hours. I would love that kind of sleep sometime. I need to eat some food. So let's just eat the mutant hound chops and the mud chops. There we go, properly fed. And then we can go outside again. We're gonna go towards our next objective for today's episode. Because as I promised, we're gonna make Louise a little bit smarter. Oh, look at that, look who's what? here. No, it can't. It, 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 it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? So remember this guy from the very beginning of the game? He's now a ghoul, so he survived the blast. Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list, but you, look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Well, I love that he still remembers us. Um, cry Cryo, the blood of my enemies. Yes. Yes, the blood. No, cryostasis. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well. I had to get to the future the hard way, living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. But you still have a snazzy outfit. Um, a, a ghoul question mark? Apologize. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from... Before, I, uh, I, oh God, I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement, once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Well, you can go, um, you can go to Sanctuary. Yeah, he could. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Sure. Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Well, now we have to go back to Sanctuary. Bye, vault that crap. Goodbye. Oh, we got a little positive musical note as well. So that was nice. See you in Sanctuary uh, later on, buddy. But, 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 first things first. We have a level up in the back, and that level up I'm gonna use for a very specific perk that we've waiting, we've been waiting on for a long time now to get. But before we can get it, I need to go up in intelligence one more point. 
And how we're gonna do that is not too far away. Because we are heading towards the Boston Public Library. Uh, the library isn't too far from here, but of course this is a rather dangerous area with super mutants over here on the left. Is he gonna spot me? I don't think he is. As long as I stay in stealth, that should be fine. So I've put up a little bit of a marker to indicate where the library is supposed to be. I'm hoping it's still there. <laughs> Might have been blown off the map. But in the... Ooh, there we go. Pikmin's calling card. So these corpses are already here because of Pikmin. And Pikmin, we've just got that quest from, uh, from Hancock. So that kind of ties in neatly. It's a really cool quest, but let's ignore, ignore the super mutants for now. And just head toward... Okay. That was a loud noise. What was that? There is a power... Oh, God. Oh, there's a bear here. Why is there a bear in the middle of the city? I'm even detected. Don't know how that works, but... But, but, but. Little open area. Wait a second. Where's my marker gone? This is not... Oh, that's... That's... To find Emma Jean. Oh! Oh, she's over there. Never mind. We can actually check that out. Because these guys aren't really friendly. Because we passed by this area before. Um, this amphitheater over here on the right. And this is exactly where Emma Jean is supposed to be. Because this is the site of a peculiar little cult. So there's this guy over here. Is this the, the man I needed to talk to? Hi. Here to learn about our movement? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Brother Thomas is the one you need to talk to. He'll fill you in with all the details. Do you by any chance know where Imogen you is? To Brother Thomas about how to join our... Okay, we can join your movement, but he's over here in the theater. So the Charles View Amphitheater. So they're burning tires for some reason, hopefully not ritualistic. Hello, Brother Thomas. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not here for that. I'm here for Imogene Cabot. I'm just looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Um, but, but her family is worried. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. They're getting <laughs> she's uncomfortably not close. anybody until she cools off. Uh, 500 gaps, friend of the family, Tretton. No, that's not gonna work. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. Yeah. And she was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. Well, aside from that creepy mustachio, um, I'm gonna just threaten your ass. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. No, not really, I think. Um, cause you, good sir. No, no, not, not, not the right arm, just the head. Whoop. There we go, and then I go in. And just in the head. And there we go. I, I mean, these guys aren't worth much, much trouble though. <laughs> these guys just all go down in, in a single strike, so. She's a threat to the community. Kill her. Seriously? Do you have a gun, or do you... Ooh, this missionary is actually a little bit tougher, but... In the head. And then this guy... Also in the head. Not a problem at all. I'm still in danger, though. Don't know from what, but might be something that I... <laughs> God damn, I killed a lot of dudes. Um... Probably not gonna have a lot of loot on them as well. They were pretty low level. Oh, small baby bottles. I could turn those into water, by the way. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here of uh, which they clearly stolen from other people. So a bunch of golden watches, a bunch of clothing items. 
So they just stripped everybody who came in here naked to, uh, well, get everything they can get their hands on. So there we go, there was one guy still alive. <laughs> he just fell, he just fell flat on his face, didn't he? He did, he did. He didn't survive that little excursion. I'm gonna grab a few of the empty bottles here, even though it is stealing. Because uh, I'm gonna make some more purified water after this. But, amphitheater key, a bunch of bottle caps, and an iguana on a stick. I don't really care about the baseball bat, although it's a pretty... Pretty nice baseball bat, I gotta give him that. So Imogene is, now, is locked up behind the amphitheater, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's this little building over here. And she's in that... Ooh, I do need to check if there aren't any booby traps over here. Ooh, technical documents. Don't mind if I do. And a gold-plated flip lighter. That's also very nice. So let's open up this. And there we have Imogene Cabot. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. He did, that's right. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? So, as you can already see in the dialogue options, we can ask about her age, because she looks quite a bit older than Jack. Uh, even almost as old as um, her mother, which is really, really interesting. You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. So there we go. We don't even need to ask any further. The serum clearly reverses aging. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society. Back when there was any. That's kind of a bit of a problem with the logic that the serum stops aging. Because that would mean that since you haven't gotten any recently, you would stay being, keep being at the age you are now if you take it again, not revert back to 32. That would be a bit weird. But there's only one vial left though. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Okay, so let's go, I let's suppose. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Okay, bye, Imogene. I'll, I'm just gonna steal everything that's not tied down here. I could take a nap in the bed, but I think I should be fine. So, with that done, we can move up with the Cabot House quest later on. But first, we need to go to the library. And this time, I'm actually going to keep an eye on the correct custom marker I've placed. So I'm actually going to the library this time and not to the Cabot House quest. But I think if I just nip in through here, we might bump into a few more raiders. But other than that, we should be fine. So there's a raider. Um, seems like a normal raider, I think. If I just toss a grenade in there. Is that... Oh, I'm out of grenades. Next. Hey. hey! There we go. Idiot Savant. Uh, let's do this. See you later. Yeah, I did. And he fell down in bloody chunks. Can you come down as well? Because I'd, I'd like to shoot you in the face. Ah, there he is. There we go. Don't even need vats for that. Just gonna shoot him in the face like uh, from a little bit of a distance but a little bit further up the road we actually come across this massive building over here and that is exactly the building i wanted to actually visit and i should have done this earlier when we were at diamond city because it's right next to diamond city diamond city oh gold hello oh that was okay 34 percent chance that i could hit that but well you Will you stand still, please? Thank you. And then this thing is gonna just shamble towards me as well. There we go. I think 
Yeah, that truck might explode in a second. But the Boston Public Library, we, there's two ways we can actually enter this place. We could go through the basement, but probably the easiest way, especially with a high luck character, there we goes, is to go through Welcome the, to the intercom. Public library. The library is currently closed. But the library is currently closed. We can actually talk our way through this. Um, I'm an employee. I work here. Let me in. Please provide your six-digit employee ID number. And then with uh, a bit of luck. Yes, right. My ID number is um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Please enjoy your visit. I love this. Okay, this stuff exploding. Yeah, so you can breathe. I, I've never seen that fail before. <laughs> you always can guess the number as just being one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. The Boston Public Library has seen better days and it's filled with traps, as you can see from the grenade bouquet at the top there. So let's disarm this and grab the grenade bouquet. <laughs> That gives us three frag grenades, which is very, very nice indeed. And then we can see a bunch of protectrons. I do need to be careful because there might be other traps set up. But as you can already see, this place has been attacked by super mutants. And um, we're not going to bother with that too much. I'm just going to let the, the robots do their work. But other than that, I need to just take a look in the back. They don't mind me because I'm a human. And uh, these guys, yeah, they're, they're doing fine. Uh, so, but let's just bypass them a little bit. And in this room in the back, we can see the original guy that was protecting this place, Curator Givens. And then we get attacked. So now this place is attacked by a bunch of super mutants. But the most important thing in here is the intelligence bobblehead. So it takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Your intelligence has been permanently increased by one. And that's exactly what we needed to then, of course, go into the level up screen. Apparently we leveled up twice already. Uh, and now we have enough intelligence to finally get the first rank of science. Uh, we, we can even go to the second rank immediately if you want to. But I think I'm going to grab Gunslinger 4 first. So now do 80% more damage and their attacks can disarm opponents. So a, a really nice extra perk on our pistol. And that's going to of course be the Righteous Authority. Which is now again 20% more powerful. I'm going to find a better position. Uh, maybe even from up top here. There we go. There's a Super Mutant over there. And then there's a guy with a minigun. So the longer that these bots survive, the longer I have the backup. I'm keeping an eye on my health, even though I'm getting hit quite a few times here. Because there's a lot of them, but as long as you help out, these bots will survive. Um... And there's a few on the left now. They're gonna keep firing at that thing, aren't they? There is also a door here on the side, and I think if they breach through that, things might be problematic too. And over here next to the terminal, we can actually find the storage key, and of course check out the terminal itself. And in there we can have we can check out the logs of the curator who had a few survivors with her, but um, they were just focused on trying to protect all the books. So that's why the bots are here to protect the entire library from the super mutants or anything else that tries to destroy the books in here. And uh, the, she also indicates that there's a bunch of supplies in the back here, and that's where the key comes in. I am mildly dehydrated, and there we have one of the other survivors. Well. I, I guess there's no, they're no longer survivors, but uh, let's go over here. And this door on the side, you can unlock with this one. And you can grab a bottle cap mine, which is really nice. And a bit more ammo, a stealth boy, and some healing items. And four fusion cores. Damn, that is really, really interesting. So with that done, I might as well help out the robots take out the rest of the super mutants. Although... Judging from the lack of gunfire, they might already have died because I took my sweet time getting here. Oh wow, yeah, they killed quite a lot of them actually. And I still hear 
minigun fire. So I should probably try and help out just a little bit. This one is still alive. And I am stocking up on grenades, which is nice. Oh, wow. Um, do I still have grenades equipped? Because this is the time for grenades. Just toss them in there. There we go. There we go. Wow, that killed all of them in one go. Look at the XP going up. That was interesting. Uh, so that means that everybody's dead. Okay. With just a few grenades. I just used those grenades immediately. That came uh, in really, really handy. Uh, were there legendaries in all of these guys? Because uh, if so, I might find myself some pretty nice legendary weapons or armor. Doesn't seem like there were any legendaries around here. A lot of corpses though. Probably because of the uh, the abundance of grenades flying around. Ooh, rat roach meat. Might as well grab that. Um, but other than that, I think we're basically done with the library. Oh, my cores are going down, but that's not a problem. I just found four more, so I'm good for uh, quite some time now. And that's basically it for the Boston Public Library. So we've uh, become a little bit smarter and uh, we've got the Scienceburg finally. So that means that we can now go back to, since we're pretty close by there, we can actually go back to Hangman's Alley and go back to our original base. And after a short hike past Diamond City, we're right back where we started. So Hangman Sally, look at that. We've been away for so long. Um, I kind of forgot that I don't have a power armor frame here, but uh, we'll fix that later on. I'm just going to drop my junk. And there we go. Also cooked every piece of food item I still had left. And I should probably finish this off by filling all the water bottles I've gathered as well. And after a bunch of uh, inventory management, we're clean up in our inventory again. So which is uh, really nice for our next trip. I checked out my weapon upgrades. Uh, for now, I can't really do anything better than what I already have, which is fine. Next up, we're probably going to go towards the Pridwin again. Uh, load up over there. Fix up our power armor suit with whatever we can find and um, make some more adjustments now that we have the science perk. So, uh, but before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival. And when we get back, we're going to pimp that suit. So thank you guys enormously for watching. See you guys next time. Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.